So in this particular profile, we have a really good example of a BF horizon with the uh, redder colors near the surface fading to a little bit yellower near the bottom. The BF horizon is greater than uh, 10 centimeters thick and it's underlain by a thin BHF horizon. Now because the thicker horizon is the BF horizon, the BHF is less than 10 centimeters thick. What we have here would fall into the humoferric great group of the podzolic order. And because we have uh, glade characteristics within one meter of the mineral soil surface, we would also, this would be in the glade subgroup. And so the overall description of this particular profile would be a glade humoferric podzol. So in terms of the other great groups of the podzolic order, there are two, the first one being the humic, uh, the humic great group. And so the defining characteristics of the humic great group are that there's uh, significant amounts of organic carbon, so greater than 1% organic carbon, but relatively low amounts of uh, extractable iron. So these would be, uh, instead of having a, a really reddish horizon in, in the B horizon, it would be quite black in color. And then similarly, the, the ferrohumic podzol, it has both a significant amount of uh, organic carbon, so greater than 5% organic carbon in the B horizon, as well as having a, a significant amount of iron and aluminum, pyrophosphate extractable iron and aluminum. So the, the, the ferrohumic would have both, uh, both the, the high amounts of metal and the high amounts of carbon. And then the one that we have here, the, the humoferric being uh, dominated by uh, having slightly less carbon, but still a, a high concentrations of iron and aluminum. Now, in terms of the subgroups, uh, this one happens to have glaying within one meter of the sur surface, so we, it's the glade subgroup. We've certainly seen that subgroup in, in other orders. Uh, other, other subgroups that we would have associated with this particular, um, this particular order would be the Sombrick subgroup, if we had a, a, a fairly thick AH horizon. So if it were we had an AH horizon greater than 10 centimeters thick, it would fall into the Sombrick subgroup. And then there are also a, a suite of horizons that are associated with um, cemented or hardened layers within the soil profile. So there's a fragic, duric, orstein, or plastic, uh, plastic layer within the soil profile. So those uh, different, uh, different types of cemented or hardened layers uh, within the soil profile that would give rise to one of those subgroups. So again, those reflecting just differences in the terms of the parent material and the type of material that is being moved downward uh, as, as the, uh, the transfer of materials takes place. And of course, as we see with all of the other uh, orders in the Canadian system of soil classification, if it doesn't have any other sort of special or different characteristics that deviate from the central concept of that particular great group, it would be in the orthic, uh, in the orthic subgroup. So uh, this particular profile, based on the characteristics that we, that we saw, would be classified as a glade humoferic podzol.